Without further ado, we're going to get into our feature for tonight. Uh, I left my notes down there, but he's a really cool guy. I've seen him all over. Um, On television. Yeah. Uh, he's got <laughs> nice hair. He's pretty. I mean, for a dude, he's, he's handsome. Uh, is there anything else I'm, I'm forgetting right away? I'll see my notes and tell them afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, I will stop droning on like an idiot, or try to. Please give it up for Mr. Justin Blackburn. What you are? Hey, how's everybody doing? Great. Yeah, good to see you tonight. Give yourself a round of applause for coming out. Yay! I woke up a lot of courage. That was good. Yeah, it's scary in here. Sure, I agree. I got kind of panicky as well. Uh, yeah, it's a cool place. Uh, Hendersonville, home of Carl Sandburg, great poet. You guys like Carl Sandburg? Yeah. 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 Have you guys read Carl Sandburg? He's beautiful. He's drunken. Huh? He was a drunken, now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he was a rich I'm, a, I the, am I, I'm offended at that. Do <laughs> you guys not care? I was hoping I would say Carl Sandburg and we'd read Chicago poems together or something. <laughs> You guys ever, it's beautiful stuff, like seriously, this is no joke. Carl Sandburg's amazing. Great, great was, writer. Was. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about Hendersonville, a lot of white people here. A lot. A lot. Woo! Yeah. yeah. A, lot. a little scary. I feel like you've been watching too many police brutality videos. Started walking through that crowd over there. I was like, oh my god. I feel like the, the white people here, like, in Asheville it's all white people, but they're like chill white people, you know? Like, hey, what's up, man? I'm not gonna hurt you. Hendersonville is just a bunch of white people, like, eating shrimp in front of restaurants looking at you, like, mean mugging you, like, what you doing here? You got long hair. You're a red Carl Sandberg? I don't get it. I think he's a drunken old man. I don't even like walking up that hill, it's too long. The goats are nice, but... It's a good place though, I like it. And like every girl that I ever liked, I, I would always take her up to Carl Sandberg's house. Just to make her think I was cool, I don't know, something. I don't know. Yeah, it worked a couple times. No, it worked. Not saying it worked. It wasn't a trick. But. It, went, it went pretty well a couple of times. So, what do we talk about here? Give it up for all you guys for coming out again. Yeah. Seriously, Prairie. Carl Sandburg, read that. Beautiful, beautiful poem. Gorgeous. The great thing about Carl Sandburg is he, I feel like he really saw the beauty in everyone. You know what I mean? You read, you read books. All right. <laughs> supposed to tell jokes. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Let's see if I have any. Oh. I was uh, I was feeling pretty good, uh, good this morning. So I called in healthy. So, yeah, I can't come in. No, nope, that was the opposite, actually. Feeling good. Don't want to come into work and ruin it. Every time I go in there, I feel bad, so. Yeah. Got a dad. He's not that proud of me, you know. He's like you. He's rich and white. Not that proud of me. So what I like to do is I, I, I go to his uh, I go to his closet. I put on one of his suits and I stand in front of the mirror and I say, "Son, I'm proud of you." And then he's proud of me. Walk out of that closet a new man. Got a brother. Real successful like my dad, like this guy, front pocket guy, and his pocket guy. No, that's good, that's good. That's great. You never listen to Lost Morset? I got one hand in my pocket. That's a good song. It's a good vibe. She just flipped me off. Why why did you do that? What? Oh, 
I got one hand in my pocket and the other one I'm giving the finger. It's like, yeah. I forgot about that part. Um, yeah, I got a brother, real successful. He lets me know it, you know, he's like, man, I got a jet ski. I got a lake house. I got a Netflix and an Amazon Prime account. What do you got? I'm like, I got a really successful brother. Don't put yourself down. Good stuff, good stuff. I feel like uh, I need to get better at talking to dudes. Fellas will know what I'm talking about here. And uh, I always go up to them like, hey man, can I give you a blow job? Oh, do you want to go watch sports? <laughs> Glad they got a laugh from you. That was, that was who I was born. Um, I was doing, uh, doing yoga earlier today. Everything was going really good until they called out child's pose, and I shit my pants. <laughs> Girlfriend's a uh, yoga instructor. You know? She's, uh, she's real deep. You guys know the type of people that, that like say deep stuff all the time? And she'll be like, uh, all I know is that I know nothing. All I know is that I know nothing. And then she'll get really pissed off at me when I don't listen to her. Like, yo, I'm not gonna listen to somebody who didn't know anything. Why would I do that? She's also uh, really honest, which is great, great trait, you know, wish more people were like that. But during, uh, during sex, it's not really that good, you know, you know what I mean? I'll be like, uh, you want me right now, don't you, baby? She'll be like, I don't know. I'll be like, does that feel good? She'll be like, uh, kinda. <laughs> Which doesn't really, you know, like, you know, you, you gotta lie to your man. You'd be like, oh my god, that's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Because if you say that, it gets bigger. I promise. <laughs> we moved in together recently. That's, that's, you guys are supposed to clap on that. So. <laughs> And uh, it's crazy, because like, uh, I feel like a lot of comedians have touched on this before. And there's, there's, a, there's a real difference between a, a man and a woman. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of difference between men and women. Like, like uh, just not like, you know, organs or you know, whatever, penis, vagina. But just like how, how, they, how they work. You know, the, the mental inner workings of a man and woman are completely different. And you really learn that, like living with a woman. Like, uh, take for example, you know, we have a lot, a lot of stray cats in, uh, in our neighborhood, right? So my girlfriend, she sees a stray cat, she's like, oh, come on in. You know, she feeds it and like pets it. You know, and, and, and when I see it, I immediately kill it and then eat it. <laughs> you know, it's just like, Subtle differences between men and women. It's little. Uh, like the other day, we were walking down the street. And there was a rainbow. She's like, "Oh my God, that's a beautiful rainbow, signifying that after the rain, there's always hope. After the storm, there's always hope." And for some reason, I just thought it was trying to have sex with me, and I just started screaming at it, you, queer. Why you gotta be so many colors at once? Pick a color. You know, just like. A lot of small differences between men and women. Like, uh, women uh, are in the kitchen, right? Usually. While men are out destroying the planet, right? Women have vaginas, usually. While, you know, men have an unconscious desire to rid the world of joy. When a woman watches television, she usually just, you know, watches one channel for a long time, you know. Where a man tries to fill, kill as many people as he can fit inside of his crawl space. You know, uh, 
Uh, a woman, like take for example when you come home from work, a woman wants to talk about her day, right? Or a man is just really uh, tense inside and usually his heart ends up attacking him to death. So, uh, you guys have that friend that, that uh, does a favor for you without you asking, then he expects one in return? Anybody have that friend? Or is this yeah. joke totally off? Yeah. You got it? I got this friend, his name is Jesus Christ. He died for my sins, and now he expects me to live for him? But no, no, seriously, I you know, love, love Christianity, love Jesus. I was actually born again recently, but uh, then I died again right after. And when uh, I died again, I went to hell, and they were playing Christian music. Yeah. Christian music's pretty good. I just don't understand why like, Christians think Jesus has the same taste as like an 80-year-old woman. You know? I feel like Jesus would want to like rock and roll or at least rap. You guys don't feel that way? Yeah, you guys don't know about Jesus. I'm talking to a bunch of like Buddhists in here or something. But no, I, seriously, I, um, I love God a lot. You know, I feel like uh, the universe is working out for everybody. I feel like people's perceptions of God are kind of weird sometimes. But like. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, God, God's a great God. Great God. I love God. Like, genuinely love God. And uh, I feel like maybe not the best father, though. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Jesus is getting whooped up the hill, hung on the cross. God's just up in heaven, chilling, watching it happen. Not helping his son. He's like one of those uh, football dads. Like, don't help him up. He's the son of God. Let him get up on his own. No? He can do it. I did, I did find out something uh, strange about Jesus recently. Not an American. You guys know that? Did not know that. Uh, got, um, you guys like impressions? Impressions? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This uh, this first impression is an impression of a mafia boss who just found out he has food poisoning. Mafia boss food poisoning. Hey, Nikki, you're not gonna believe this. You know Salmonelli? He poisoned me. That was, that was for the people in the back. People, not you guys, but these people here that I don't feel like the arms cross people that aren't having as good a time as I'd like them to have. I was just the hope that it is. Like these people though, these people are cool. Yeah, we're friends. Uh, his next impression is an impression of a uh, Jeff Foxworthy meditation album. You guys, Jeff Foxworthy fans in here? All right, Jeff Foxworthy, we got one right there. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy meditation album. Yeah. If you have sex with your sister in a Walmart parking lot in a Ford Contour, you might be a red dad. <laughs> breathe in, <laughs> breathe out. <laughs> so, uh, next impression is an impression of Hillary Clinton on a porch at a party. Hillary Clinton on a porch at a party. Yeah, I don't even know why they made True Detective season two. It's just, it's really bad. I mean, they did everything they could in season one. Why try again when you have something that that's perfect? I totally agree. Here's uh, Hillary Clinton at the same party in the kitchen. You know, I'm actually um, in the minority about this, but 
I really feel like True Detective Season 2 is better than True Detective <laughs> Season 1. Uh, this is uh, Dave and Jana, the host of the party. This is an impression of uh, Jana. I, I don't really want, want Hillary back, honestly. It's just she says the same thing that everybody else says. She has no real self. It's just very embarrassing having her around. There's an impression of Dave, the other host of the party. I, I, I kind of like it. I like it when people agree with everything I say. Is that weird? Uh, how much time do I got? You're right at 15. Oh, cool. That's great. Pretty much done. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll just maybe uh, ramble about something for a minute and then get off here. How's that feel? Yeah. Yeah. You guys, great job, everybody. How you feeling? You guys having a good night? Yeah. Um, great comp, great comedians tonight. Give it up for Curtis. Give it up for this place. This place is really cool. Lots of great art and all. Uh, give it up for uh, Narnia Studios over there. Love that place. You guys like that place? Great place. Um, got a great headliner next. Keep it, keep it going. Keep having a great time. Uh, thanks so much for uh, everything, and uh, have a really great night. Much love and respect to all of you. Thank you. Justin Blackburn writes. That's W R I T S, not the other one like I was thinking. JustinBlackburnWrites.com for more info on him. Happy to have him tonight.